and so I think of the wrong house to sign. Here you go. Sorry. Okay. They're gone. Coffee. I see Sarah's got the week off. Mmm, Lanzarote, lucky thing. Oh, can you imagine it? What? A week of sun, sand, and uncomplicated space. Chance of a fine thing. Oh, pregnancy blues. It's not me. It's Ronnie. I think he's gone off me. <laughs> Don't think so. Mm -hmm. It's been weeks. Well, that's not uncommon. It is for us. We had a great sex life. Men can get a bit precious when the bump starts to get big. They start treating you like a china doll. I really wouldn't worry about it. Oh, I don't know. I think there's more to it. It's the pregnancy, believe me. You know what men are like when it comes to relationships and sex. You have to draw them a map. Mind you, Phil was the complete opposite. I had to beat him off with a stick when I was pregnant. Oh. Maybe Ronnie just needs a bit of a nudge. Yes, Mr. Wilson, you have an appointment for 10.30 tomorrow morning. Yes, it is definitely on the computer. Dr. McGuire, that's right. All right, well, we'll see you tomorrow morning then, OK? Bye-bye. Morning, Julia. Wow, what happened to you? Uh, too much sun. Sun, it's November. Oh, Amanda decided to whisk me away for the weekend. Oh, yeah? Anywhere nice? Marrakesh. <laughs> what did you use for sun cream, lad? <laughs> Fell asleep on the beach. Oh, well, that'll teach you. Yeah. That's some bedside manner. Well, you're the one that went to sunny Marrakesh while the rest of us had to stay here in dreary old England. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Hey, I want to see Dr. Maguire. Um, are you a patient of his? Yeah. I don't have an appointment. My name's Ian Cowell. Well, I'm sorry that Dr. Maguire is busy all morning. Would you like to see another doctor? No, no it has to be Dr. Maguire. It's, uh, it's an emergency. OK, um, well, you take a seat and I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Mac, there's a young lad at reception asking to see you. Oh, really? Well, I know. He hasn't got an appointment. Name? Ian Cowell. Oh, I thought he'd be back at university. Oh, do you know him? Yeah, yeah, his mother died a couple of months back, cancer. Well, he certainly looks like he's been through the wars. It's a bit of a shock. She came in to see me. I sent her to some fills, and two days later, she was dead. Oh, how awful. Yeah, well, by the time Ian found out about it, he was too late. So, did he say what he wants? No, but he was very insistent. Well, we better give him some time, eh? OK. Ah. You are such a big baby. Oh, but it hurts. It's just a little sunburn. Oh, I think there's no skin left. Anyway, look, would it kill you to show a little bit of sympathy, you know, for Florence Nightingale and all that? <sighs> Drama queen. Uh... Right. Come on, get your shirt off and I'll have a look at the rest of you. Oh, I'll do that myself. Suit yourself. So, was the weekend worth the pain? No, it was fine. Quite good, eh? Yeah, it was great. Really? No. Thanks for the cream. You have been in the wars. I'm fine. It's not why I'm here. No, no, it looks nasty. What happened? I uh, fell. Yeah, your mum had that problem. You know, falling over, running into doors. How was your father? Since mum died, he's hardly stopped drinking. Nothing changed there, then? No, this is different. Look, Dad drinks, we both know that. But these last weeks, he's hardly stopped. It's... His diabetes is out of control. He started having dizzy spells, blacking out even. I did warn him. What's his consultant say? He was supposed to go in this morning for tests. They even sent the hospital bus on account of his fall. He fell? He'd been drinking. Anyway, the transport arrived as planned, but he refused to go. Made me send them away. So what do you want me to do? Well, I thought maybe you could talk to him. Convince him to go to the hospital, make him see sense. Me? You're his doctor. He'll listen to you. Well, he's never listened to me before. Anyway, how's, um, how's university? I haven't gone back yet. I took some compassionate leave, thought I'd spend some more time with Dad. Ian, I know he's your father, but you can't help someone if they don't want to be helped. Well, I can't just leave him. Your mother used to say that. My mother's dead. 
Look, please come out and talk to him. I don't see what I can do. Please try, Doctor. He might listen to you. The one thing I do know about your father is that he won't be told anything by anyone. I would really like to help. But there's nothing I can say. So that's it, then? I'm sorry. Fine. Earth calling Greg. Oh, you haven't seen me, OK? I'm a figment of your imagination. Are you in hiding? Something like that. You know, if I see one more cold sore today... Oh, you need a holiday. Huh. Amanda took Jimmy to Marrakesh for the weekend. To Marrakesh? Whisked him away at the last minute. You see, why doesn't that ever happen to me? Oh, it wasn't all smiles. He got really bad sunburn. <laughs> well, it serves him right for pushing our noses in it, doesn't it? Oh, well, back to the Monday hordes, I suppose. That's what they pay you for. Well, you get paid. I'm just doing this to meet interesting new people. Drank beer during the day. What's it to you? Just thought the sun had to be over the yard arm before you hit the hard stuff. <laughs> I haven't told me yet. I was just thinking about it. Will you join me? Come on, sit down. Grab a glass. No, thanks. Why not? Hiya. Hi. Having a good one? Not bad. Minutes from last week's meeting. Oh, thanks. So, did the English patient come in and see you? You mean Lobster Boy, the big baby? Why do men always have to make a big drama out of a little pain? They can turn a cut on their finger into an amputation. Oh, dear. Did Nurse Faye make little Jimmy feel all better? I suppose I should be used to it. All men act like little boys with me. It's the uniform. They think I'm their mummy. <laughs> Listen, did he tell you whether they had a nice holiday? You know, the couple of the year. He just doesn't seem very happy. He said it was fine, but it wasn't very convincing. Mm. I mean, look at the state of him. Well, I know. He told me he fell asleep on the beach. Probably drunk. Mm. Oh, that's it. I bet. They had a row, he stormed off, got drunk, and fell asleep in the sun. Yep. <laughs> hey, you, what's up? Oh, stupid, stupid man. Who? Tom Cowell, the father of that boy you let in earlier. Why, what's he done? He's drunk his life away. His diabetes is out of control. Possible liver damage, potential kidney damage. All that, and he doesn't even bother to show up for an appointment. The NHS in crisis. I wonder why. What are you going to do? Well, Ian wants me to go out there and try and talk some sense into him. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah? Yeah, well, you are his doctor. Huh. Not being very objective, are you? Julia, I watched that man destroy his wife. With his drinking and with his fists. Suck the life out of her. You know, I don't think I like the sound of this. I mean, after all, that man is your patient, regardless of what you think of him. Well, he never listened to me anyway. Oh, I see. So he never listened to you. That's why you're going to let him rot. Don't be ridiculous. And what about the boy? Julia, there is nothing I can do. You know, Mike, I would have thought that you, of all people, would have been more understanding. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, OK, I had a drink problem, but I wasn't anything like him. I did something. Well, aren't you the lucky one? Sure you won't join me? Ew, a woman's work is never done. It's better than living in filth. What? Nothing. Yeah, right, nothing. He's just like your mother. Always a smart aleck comeback, always something to say. I didn't say anything. No, you thought it. Don't think I don't see. I didn't say anything. I didn't think anything. I'm doing the dishes. You think I'm daft? No. 
I get years of it from her. I could see it in her eyes, just like I see it in yours. You can't see anything. You're drunk. That's it! That's it's just like her. Go on. Give me that look. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Say it. Say it. You think you're better than me? No, I don't. Yeah, shit, if you think you're better than me, it's like a blessed mother. She was better than you. She thought she was. And what'd she get for her trouble? You know what she got. She got all smart mouths get... Oh. You caught me off guard before. You won't get away with that a second time. Mm. Just try it. People get bored, Faith. Haven't you got any exciting filing you could be doing? It's lunchtime. Oh, come on, entertain me. How? I don't know. Tell me about your weekend. And don't leave out any of the juicy details. OK, well, let's see. Um, I went shopping on my own, and then I watched a bit of TV on my own, and I had dinner on my own, and then I went to bed on my own. You see a pattern emerging? How about you? The same. Oh, no, Saturday night, I painted my toenails. Ooh. I don't know, where have all the decent men gone, eh? Faith, that wasn't a rhetorical question. Decent men. I think we're looking in the wrong places. <laughs> Hi. Thanks, Doctor. Yeah, hey, I know. Where is he? Front room. Right. Doctor. Oh, what do you want? I want to know what's going on. Missing appointments, wasting everybody's time. Nobody invited you. Actually, your son invited me. He's worried sick. He doesn't care. I do care. Heaven knows why. It's more than you deserve. Oh, that's it. Stick the boot in, twist the knife, bully a sick man. Tom, there is only one bully in this house. So what are you talking about? I'm talking about the bruises on your son's face. His face? Look at my wrist. He tried to break my arm. He wants rid of me. If Mum's dead, if I go, he gets the house. He'll do what he likes. That's a lie. He'll live the life of Riley. I wasn't even here when his own mother died. I didn't even know she was in hospital. You didn't want to know. No, I didn't want to know about you. Look, this is not helping. Left his own mother. I was at university. I begged her to leave. I don't know how many times. She was my wife. Now she's dead. She was my mother and you killed her. That is not true! There it is! You took everything. Drained the fight right out of her. You're a parasite! Tom, sit down. Let's talk about this. Tell me what to do in my own house, you quack! I need a refill. You join me, son. Oh, yeah. You didn't know about that, did you? Oh, Mr. Sanctimonious here. He loves a drink with his old dad. I'll have a double. It's not going to help. Thank you, Doctor. Checks in the post. Seemed easy to join him for a while. Oh? Why face reality when you can lose yourself in alcohol? You, of all people, should know why. You can't beat him. Join him. I read somewhere that it's genetic. Do you believe that, Doctor? An addictive gene? No matter how hard I try, I am my father's son. I suppose I'm just like him. Tell me what I, what I can and can't do in my own house. I think they know it all. Him, her, uh, all of them think they know it all. Well, I am the man in this house. <laughs> We have to make our own decisions. We have to decide what we're going to do with our lives. You've got to be strong. But I'm not strong. Well, I don't think that's true. You cope with your mother's death. You looked after your dad, even though he doesn't deserve it. And I can help you. My door is always open. Like this morning. 
Let's just get your dad sorted out, eh? Stubborn old goat that he is. Listen to the pair of you. Like a couple of girls. Come on, Tom, that's enough. When your man's allowed to have a little drink if he wants. Not that you know anything about that. Being a man, I mean. What? Well, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, Tom. Get rid of this quack. We don't need his sort. Getting rid of me is not going to change anything. Your wife's dead, Tom. You're an alcoholic, and if you don't change, you will die. And then your son will have no one. Come on, son. Come and join your old man. I'm not doing this anymore. I said get rid of him. He's my guest. I want him out. This is my house. No. Fine. We can both go, then. Come on, sling your up. It's fine. Get out. You did this. You poisoned him against me. You didn't need me, Tom. Ian, go on, get out of here! Get out! Oh, God. Ian! Oh. Ian! Last one, hepatitis A. Ooh, you say the nicest things. So, um, where exactly is it that you said you were going? Uh, Zanzibar first, scuba diving, then South America, see where the wind takes me. You taking a year out? Oh, I wish. Six weeks all in. Oh, that sounds great. And, uh, are we travelling alone? Or have you got a girlfriend or what? Oh, no, 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 wife. No girlfriend. Just me and my trusty backpack. Doesn't mean I intend staying alone once I'm there, though. Ladies' men, after all. <laughs> Not quite. OK, Indiana Jones, we're all done. <laughs> well, thank you, Nurse. Ah, you OK? Yes, yeah, my knee. I popped it skiing last winter. It's never really been 100%. It's no good. We can't have you limping around the world. Not much I can do. Look, uh, we've got a doctor here, Dr Clay. He specialises in sports injuries. Maybe you could book in and see him. OK, yeah. Great, tomorrow? <laughs> OK, that could be an idea. Yeah. Good. All right, well, OK, thank you, nurse. You've been great help. I'll tell you what, I'll, um, I'll come and make sure you get that appointment. <laughs> oh, look, I don't want to go. You can't make me. I'll sue. Don't be a fool, Tom. You need to go in. We have to be sure you're all right. <laughs> oh, don't let him take me, son. I'll die if I go in there. It's going to be fine. Ian will come with you in the ambulance. Is that OK, Ian? Go, go. We'll follow. No, I won't go. Come on, Tom. No, Tom. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. One, two, three, lift. Okay, Matt, so we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. You've been very thorough. <laughs> Who was that? A mystery man. What? What? <laughs> I told him we'd follow on. You going? Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought I would. Why? Well, I am his doctor, and I think I should follow this through. Look, Ian, if you want to leave, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> Nobody would. You've been through enough. Like you said, Doctor, you can't help someone unless they want help. Is this really how you want to leave this? I mean, you have come this far. And after what happened to your mum? You think you might die? I think he really needs you. It's not me he needs. For your own sake, then. OK. OK, well, I'm going. It's your decision. If you want to come along later, I'll be there. You don't have to do this on your own. I'm off. Quick getaway, is it? No, no, I'm off to prepare the George with oh, man trap. You know, get myself dolled up, maybe a few candles, mood music, nice dinner. Well, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Ah, that doesn't leave room for very much. Cheeky. <laughs> I'll fill you in on all the details tomorrow. Oh, I don't feel you have to. Looks so helpless. 
Oh, the diabetes wasn't properly controlled, so there's every chance of kidney damage. Just wait for the results. He's going to have to do something about his drinking, then. Evening. Get home early. Mmm. Mmm, <clears throat> it's lovely. Your ankles look a bit swollen, though. Would you like the telly on? You were right. Couldn't walk away. If his kidneys are shot, will he die? If there's damage, he may need dialysis or kidney transplant. I could survive. With one kidney, I mean. Well, there's always a risk of surgery, but yeah, you'd be fine with one kidney. Let's just wait and see what happens, eh? What would happen if I gave him a kidney and he kept on drinking? Before long, he'd end up back here. He's my dad. Wasn't all bad times. I suppose that's why Mum stuck around. He was right, though. I did run away. Ran away from both of them. Now Mum's dead and... You he... can't go on blaming yourself. I do blame myself. Who else is there? Dad. Good, Dad. No. A couple of days. Uh, we'll be out business as usual, you'll see. I don't think so. You might need a transplant. Look, Dad, you've got to promise me you'll stop drinking. If you fight this, I'll do anything I can to help you. I'll stand by you, but you've got to promise. Hey, come on. Do anything for my lad. <laughs> you know that? Give you the world. I knew you'd come. <laughs> hey. I want you to do something for me. Sure, what is it? I want you to, to fetch me something from the house. This is just a, just a little something to see me all right. You do that for me. Sure, Dad. He's the same. You can't make people's choices for them. I suppose being a doctor, you get used to letting go. Save the ones you can. No, no, I never get used to that. Thanks for everything, Doctor. For being here, I really appreciate it. What will you do now? Go back to uni, back to my life. I'll keep an eye on him. Just let me know if something happens. Thank you. 
I'm trying to read this, darling. Ronnie. What? I'm trying to make it romantic. Make what romantic? The mood. Goodness knows we need something. I'm sorry, I'm just tired. Huh. You are always tired. Well, I've had a hard day. Well, I'm sorry. I think I'll take a bath. Johnny Allen has that all-important video, the evidence that could help free Sam. But will he help? EastEnders, tonight at 8 here on BBC One. Next this afternoon, diagnosis murder in the world of reality TV.